Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in this world. God bless you all. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we are in the 1611 edition of the King James Bible, and we are in two Esdras, and we are going chapter by chapter, and this is the final chapter. And this is chapter 16, and here is the summary of chapter 16. Verse 1, Babylon and other places are threatened with plagues that cannot be avoided. Verse 23, and with desolation. Verse 40, the servants of the Lord must look for troubles. Verse 51, and not hide their sins. Verse 74, but leave them, and they shall be delivered. Chapter 16, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Assyria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children, and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hundred, a hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it hath begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer? The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall fear? He shall thunder, and who shall be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord, before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward. Even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, Vituals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, 
that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? The grapes shall ripe, and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men, so that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. For of a city there shall ten left, there, excuse me, for of a city there shall be ten left, and two of the field which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of rocks. As in an orchard of olives, upon every tree there are left three or four olives. Or when as a vineyard is gathered, there are some left, excuse me, or when as a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall tra travel therethrough. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegroom be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Hear now these things, and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold the word of the Lord. Receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son within two or three hours of her birth, pain, great pains, compass her womb, which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. O oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as the one that will loose. He that occupieth merchandise as he that had no profit by it, and he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as if he should not reap, so also he that planteth the vineyard, as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry, as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not, as the widowers. And therefore they that labor, labor in vain, for strangers shall reap your, their fruits, 
and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses, and take their children captive. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons, the more will I be angry with them for their sin, saith the Lord. Like as an whore envieth an honest, a right, honest, and virtuous woman, so shall righteousness hate iniquity. And when she decketh herself, and shall accuse her to her face, when he cometh that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out, searcheth out every sin upon earth. And therefore be ye not like thereunto, nor to the works thereof. For yet a little iniquity shall be taken away out of the earth. And righteousness shall reign among you. Let not the sinner say that he hath not sinned. For God shall burn coals of fire upon his head. Which saith before the Lord God and his glory. I have not sinned. Behold. The Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts, and their hearts, which spake not the word, let the earth be made, and it was made, let the heaven be made, and it was created. In his word were the stars made, and he knoweth the number of them. He searcheth the deep, and treasures thereof. He hath measured the sea, and what it containeth. He hath shut the sea in the midst of the waters, and with his word hath he hanged the earth upon the waters. He spread out the heavens like a vault. Upon the waters hath he founded it. In the desert hath he made springs of water, and pools upon the tops of the mountains, that the floods might power down from the high rocks to water the earth. He made man and put his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath, life, and understanding. Yea, and the Spirit of Almighty God, which made all things, and searcheth out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. Surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even then that them that sin would hide their sin. Therefore hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you to all Excuse me. And when your sins, mm -mm. therefore hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. What will ye do? Or how will ye hide your sins before God and his angels? Behold, God himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall God lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you 
being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under foot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for your God is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts saith the Lord God. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins, and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel through. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. Guys, if you're doing something against God's commandments, if you're not performing his precepts, get it right. Straighten it out. Straighten yourself up. Pull yourself out of the things of this world and walk in the Spirit, the Spirit of God Almighty. He is our refuge in the storm. And in the end, if we persevere, we will be rewarded. But we have to go through the fire first to be refined as gold. But fear not, for our Lord God loves us. And his children, who are his, whose hearts are pure, whose bodies are not sinning to the lust of things in this world. We have to keep ourselves clean from sins and follow his commandments to the letter. Not, thou shall not lie. That doesn't mean a little lie or only once in a while. It means the liars, all liars, shall be thrown into the lake of fire. Watch your lips and guard your tongue. Bridle it. Think before you speak and speak the truth. God is not going to put up with anything less than your best. And you can do it because you love him. You don't want to disappoint him. You want to be able to stand before him in a white robe down to your feet with a palm branch or harps in your arms and receive a white stone with a name written that no one but you know. A crown of gold upon your head. And the stones, they represent all your good works. So, you know what to do. 
you know what's coming and you know what will happen in the very end if you do not stand with God with his commandments done his precepts carried, carried out and don't fall down and worship the beast or take his mark prepare to stand against that pray Pray to our Heavenly Father. Tuck yourself up under his wing. Psalm 91. Read it every day. Read it multiple times every day. Stay in his word. Stay in Christian fellowship. Don't watch things on TV. Don't listen to people that are vulgar or nasty don't involve yourself with things of sin keep yourself away from that keep your children away from that and teach them the word of God guys he loves us so much and even though we're going to be going through this unimaginable tribulation he will never leave us nor forsake us he will never give us more than we can bear keep that in mind keep that in mind and as always I love you so deeply if you could only know how much he loves you.